Okay, so now we're ready to start using uh, Bootstrap and actually including it as a framework. Um, the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a new file. We're going to save it as underscore bootstrap oops bootstrap dot scss and we're going to create another new file and we're going to save it as variables dot scss now what we're going to paste into here or put into here is a copy of the bootstrap dot scss from our assets folder you can see when I select it here uh, you see nothing but a bunch of imports and that's what we want so I'm gonna hit command A or control A on Windows I'm just gonna copy everything and I'm gonna paste it into here and then um, for my variables I'm gonna do the same thing only our variables uh, file is right in here in the bootstrap folder and I'm gonna open this up I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to uh, paste it here in the underscore variables dot SCSS just like that I'll go ahead and save that and I'll save that as well um, actually what I need to do now is uh, I need to change the path of all of these um, import files um, the first one since it's in the same folder SCSS uh, is the variables file and I'm just going to remove this again because it's in the same folder and for all of these other imports I'm going to change the path to be uh, pointed to our assets folder so I'll just select all of these and we're going to put actually we need to go up one directory to get out of this folder and then I'm going to type in assets and the next level will be style sheets so I'll type that out for slash um, bootstrap okay so we're good I'm gonna save that I'll also come over here in our main dot scss and now I'm gonna import bootstrap now I'm not gonna import the bootstrap that's in the assets folder because we don't want to overwrite that that's the uh, sort of all the default stuff I'm actually importing the uh, bootstrap folder that's uh, in the S in the SCSS folder I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna save it and let's check out scout and see what we have uh, it looks like nothing has been changed let me go back to my browser and refresh and you can see here that uh, the font changed to the uh, Bootstrap default font, which is uh, Helvetica. So we know that Bootstrap is being included. If we come over here to our CSS uh, main.css file, you'll see that we've got the full Bootstrap build. What I want to do is uh, we don't need all that. In fact, for this series we're not going to be using any of the uh, JavaScript components so we can comment that out uh, we're also not going to use any of these uh, components as well in fact the only thing we're going to use starting out is the scaffolding and we don't want the icons so all we're going to use are the uh, mix-ins normalizing resetting styles uh, print styles uh, scaffolding and variables so let's save this and let me check this now you can see it's a lot shorter it doesn't have all of the code it's just some of the uh, default stuff that I like to use all right that's gonna be it for this video in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna start going over some of the uh, layout we'll start uh, writing out our HTML and we'll start using um, maybe one or two mixins.